Hello everyone. My name is Brooke. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Um, I just wanted, I do a budget every two weeks. So I just wanted to do an end of the week check-in to see where I'm at. This was, the last video was the first time I was ever cash, cash stuffing envelopes. So I'm kind of new to the budget um, as far as like dialing in what I need, what I don't need. So I kind of just want to do a check-in at the end of the week and just see if I need to make some adjustments for next week whenever I redo the budget or just how we're doing. So I'm going to start with our cash envelopes. I'm also going to try to use my tablet um, digitally wise and see if I like doing that versus pen on paper on video. I do both anyway, so it just is going to depend on what reads better, what looks better. I don't know yet. So we're going to go ahead and do our envelope. First, I'm going to do all this change. So I got this little coin purse thing um, because the change was getting so bad in here. And look, this isn't that much change, but it was getting so bad in here that I could barely close this. So I got this little coin thing at Walmart for a dollar. And I think just with doing the weekly check-ins, hopefully I don't have that much change to where it's going to become a problem but this thing was getting pretty heavy and this ain't that much change so we'll put the silvers in one jar and then the pennies jar is all the way filled i need to take this in it's getting pretty full and it is heavy pennies go in here all right let's put those away and then sorry for my lean okay and then let's go ahead and take out our envelopes and see where we're at See if we want to make any adjustments. If I can get them out of here. They're really not this difficult to get out when I'm spending the money. So I don't know why they're playing so hard to get out of there. All right, eating out. <laughs> As you can see, it's completely empty. And actually, I emptied it yesterday. Um, Liam, my son, when I picked him up after work, he wanted to go to McDonald's. And the total, it was uh, down to 50 cents. So I spent all of it. I mean, unless you want to count the 50 cents I had left over. So I originally had thought that this was really high, but I'm thinking this might need some more money. So I feel like we didn't eat out that much, but obviously we did. So eat out has um, zero left. Oh, I don't want to. The black. Let's do. Let's do like an aqua make this fatter all right so we had zero left in <laughs> eating out so not so hot all right and then miscellaneous we have eleven dollars left and we originally put uh, 20 in this so I only spent $9. I can't even remember what I spent that on. Something at the gas station, I remember. Um, our oops envelope still has the 20 that we put in it. So still doing good there. Okay, and then me. I still have my 50. I have not spent anything. So me still has 50. All right. And then Liam has not spent anything, so he still has his 20. And food did go to the grocery store. Um, let's see what we got left here. I didn't need much this week. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, and two. So we have $202 left. And that one we stuffed 250. And um, so miscellaneous, we're missing $9. So I think that one's okay to stay. 
um, at the 20. The um, uh, me is still the same, Liam is still the same, and oops is still the same. I only spent $46 in food, but we still have a week left. I didn't have to get that much at the grocery store this last time, so I don't know. That might be a little high on food. I'm not too sure. Um, but Eat Out definitely needs more than the 50 that we're stuffing in it. So I think I'm going to take some out of the me because I just don't spend money like that. I just, it's very rare that I buy something for myself. So I think I'm going to take 20 from myself. And so that's going to take me down to 30. And then I'm going to add 20 to Eat Out. So we already put 40 in there. I No, we put 50. Let me check real quick. I think we put, it's not in there. Um, let's see, eat out. Yeah, we put 50 in there. So let's go ahead and add a 20 from, I'm going to pull from the me envelope and move that to the eat out. So that will be then 70, where's some eat out? So let's um, put that to 70 for the adjustment. And then we will put the 30 back in the me. Sorry guys, this got a little disorganized here. Okay, so I'm going to make a little note down here, make my writing a little smaller and I'll put it in black. Um, I'm going to just write in the notes that we um, added 20 to eat out. And took away. 20 from me. All right. So let's go ahead and save that. All right. So we've got that logged in. All right. So let's go ahead and put these back. So it goes in my wallet as food, me, and then Liam. As we all just learned, I think eat out is going to have to be the front. <laughs> it's going to have to get moved to the front. And we do still have that oops envelope too. But I'm trying to like, I'm trying to balance this out to where I wouldn't need an oops envelope. That I had it all pretty well put in, you know, well in there. Um, I don't want to struggle by any stretch of the imagination, but I also don't want to give myself so much leeway that it becomes where I'm trying to spend it just to spend it. Okay, so uh, last time we left off with a rollover, um, I believe it was like 200, 290 or some, or 315, I believe is what it was. So when I was trying to figure out the budget for the next video for the second um, half of the month, um, I have quite a bit of a rollover. So instead of driving to the bank, which is 30 minutes away, I'm going to use the money that we put in here from the last um, cash stuffing. I'm going to use it to do some extra, pull a couple more envelopes and um, put it in the saving challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, my boyfriend did need to use $100 out of here. We had uh, some toiletries and stuff he needed to pick up. So I don't really, I think on the next one, I'm going to add a, a sinking fund envelope as a personal envelope because I've noticed that we don't spend a lot in toiletries. But they do come up every once in a while when about every three months that we need to replace that. And that's like body wash, shampoo, conditioner, my son's body wash, you know, everyday stuff. And so I don't really have a category for that. 
and I don't really want to keep that part of my um, grocery bill because on that every three month when we need all that stuff, um, it would deplete all of my groceries that I have, the money that I have set aside for the groceries. So I'm going to make a separate envelope adding to my sinking funds from previous as a personal envelope. And then I also had to purchase some stuff for my iced coffee. And again, that's something that gets purchased maybe once every six months, but I still have to purchase it. And I don't really have an envelope allocated to it. So I think I'm just going to use that as the personal, which is going to kind of almost be be like miscellaneous, but it's more miscellaneous, more categorized as toiletries and household, basically. So, and if that doesn't work, then maybe we'll create a separate one for toiletries and then create a household instead of just having one general personal one. But um, anyway, what we had left over in the rollover that um, I'm not really going to need once I sat down and did the budget and we're pretty well set off, I'm gonna go ahead and use these for some savings challenges, do an extra savings challenge can never hurt anybody is 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. Why do I have the, oh, I don't have any 20s, that's why. 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. So I have 195 that I can play with. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple more, or one envelope per challenge. So let me go ahead and pull my, savings challenge document up so I can mark this. And um, I'm just going to do, because usually when I do the budget, um, Jake, my boyfriend, he pulls an envelope and then I pull an envelope. And then same thing with the Saveopoly. He rolls the dice and then I roll the dice. So for these extra bonus savings challenges, it's going to be just under me. So um, let's since I have it right here, let's go ahead and start with the 50 envelope challenge. No, we're not. Let's start with the 100 envelope. And I'm not going to do Saveopoly. I'm just going to do the envelopes. I'm going to I'm gonna do the 100 envelope just because those are the bigger ones usually. So we got 55. Hopefully we have the dominations in here to do it. Oh, no. It's going to be stuffed big. My whole theory of no 50s isn't really working out for me right now. But 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Perfect. So maybe I'll have to come in um, whenever I do the savings challenge next for the second. Uh, what am I doing here? For the second bi-weekly budget, maybe I'll come in here. I'll try to remember make a little sticky note to come in here and put some 20s in here instead of those 10s. And then we're going to place this in the back with a clip. That's an extra one for the 100, 100 envelope savings challenge. And that was $55. So let's go ahead and mark that on here. And so $55. Oh, not the Saveopoly. Come on, Brooke, get with the program. The 100 envelope was $55. Okay, now our 50 envelope challenge. Let's pull these up. They're being a pain in the butt. Oh my goodness. It is 15. All right. So 5, 10, 15. I don't think this will be a problem being in there. It's one extra bill versus me putting a $10 bill in there. That's really not going to make any earth shattering changes to worry about. All right, and that was 15. Let's put that in the back. Put that over here, and that was 15. 
All right, and then let's go ahead and save that so we know. And then I am going to try to find my post-its notes here. I'm just going to make a note so that I can put it in on my paper. Okay. So I will put that in my planner on my challenges here. But first, I am going to color in what we got. So on the 50, we got the 15. I'm going to use the pink one. I don't want to use black. So let's color in that planner thing. Well, what looks more like a binder. Okay. And then on the 100, oh, I already got pink. I have to do a black. We'll do, I don't want to do black. Sorry guys, I gotta get a different color. I can't do black. We'll make it look like it's nothing there. Let's do uh let's do orange. And then we'll color in the 55. I mean, I could push it and do another one. How much do I have left? I have 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. No, I better not. Let's not. We don't want to. Saving challenges are awesome because um, they get you excited about saving money, but in the same sense, you need to pay attention to what you're doing too because you don't want to run out of your money and then you're going to end up digging into something else and then it just goes a wire from there so i'm gonna put that sticky note on there for us to know next time and then this is my planner i mine's plain very plain compared to other people are very very good at decorating these i'm more of a simplistic um but i want to go ahead and um, check mark the bills that have already been paid so the mortgage has been paid best buy has been paid and then I went ahead and paid Capital One early, and I actually went ahead and put, um, I was guessing how much money we would have on there at the end, because we just paid the full balance off. And I was guessing um, $79, because I had spent like 78 something. Um, but then I ended up, and but then we ended up using it for, or I ended up using it for a different bill, bill versus my other, because I have two Capital One cards, and I, used this one on accident instead of the other one so anyway so it ended up being a hundred instead of seventy nine dollars but I just went ahead and paid that early I paid that yesterday when I was at work so so that is taken care of so I only have until my next paycheck I only have these three bills here so we're sitting really well for the end of the week um, we are on track and um, have we still have a hefty rollover in the checking account and then we have the extra 125 so we have that to work with on our next our next budget so that works anyway so I just wanted to come on here and just give it a little end of the week update I see where I'm at and to kind of keep my hold myself accountable and keep myself on track um, make sure that there's not any areas where I'm hurting and need a little bit more money until I can get the budget figured out. I don't really want to punish myself too much as far as saying, as far as saying no. I know that sounds awful, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm being too hard on myself or if I'm being too lenient if I don't even know a starting point, you know. So when I like guessed the eating out I just guessed. I just came up with a number. And the problem is, is I think sometimes we don't realize how much money we actually spend. Sorry if anything changed. My camera turned off. I gotta figure out why it keeps doing that. It doesn't say overheat or anything. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, where did I, what was I talking about? I don't know. I was just basically talking about I think sometimes I don't realize how much money I spend in certain categories. And 
the odd thing is, is sometimes I think that I spend more money than I actually do in other categories, like eating out. I just threw a number up there. And even I thought that saying $50 eating out for two weeks was a lot because we don't eat out very often. Well, we really, and that's true, we don't. However, I treat my son usually every time, he has to go to daycare two times one week and one time another week. And usually every time I pick him up from daycare, we will go and have a fast food, just quick um, meal. And that's a treat to him and he enjoys it. Well, I think I just didn't realize how much we actually spend when we go and do that, you know. So um, anyway, so adjustments needed to be had there because that's something that I didn't want to take away. And that was something that I was prioritizing as an important thing. However, when I gave myself spending money, I gave myself $50 and I looked through my bank statements and I can't, I can't tell you one thing that I've purchased for myself in the last two months. So I'm not sure why I beefed that one up and not, anyway, long story short, all I'm trying to do is hone in the budget a little bit better. So I want to check in every single week. Um, so then I can see where I'm at, see if I need to make adjustments or see if I need to ring myself in a little bit and say, Hey, you're spending a little too much money here. Um, just to hold myself accountable, understand where my money is going, and just paying attention overall. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up, comment if you have any comments. <laughs> but other than that, I'll see you next time. See ya!